Hey Pisces Seeker, welcome back to the Existential Shift for your tarot scope for the month of October. You are the uh, last water sign for today. I've been doing Don Cancer, then Scorpio, and now you guys, you are my in heaven. Um, this month marks a special month for me. It's the 10th month of doing uh, these readings and on October 10th, I will be doing a live Q&A. So you're welcome to ask me questions about energy and spirituality and talk to me, one, not one-on-one, -on -one, but like live. Because I can, you know, I can read you and answer you and I'm excited about that. Um, I'm closing on the 10,000, not yet, but closing on it. So maybe we'll be celebrating the 10,000 subscribers. That will also be awesome, a lot of 10s. A lot of completions also october marks the completion of many months prior where i've been talking about very similar energies that are supposed to culminate to to, to reach culmination in october um venus retrograding in scorpio is very help is really helping everything come out into the surface everything we worked for everything we've been aware of and not aware of it's kind of all gonna mingle into the smush of crazy emotional realm <laughs> inside um, it's not scary. I'm excited. And the more you fight it, the more scary it will be. The more you embrace it, the more fun you will have because it's also sexy time. Okay. Pisces. Why am I feeling confused and what is it that you thought that will, that is supposed to be or felt a certain way about now you're not so sure did I see it wrong did I feel it wrong was my intuition wrong um, question mark about the self and about how you perceive things and and you have that in common with other signs I mean we're, I think we're all going through that uh, it's something similar with, with cancer and Scorpio it's the question mark it's the crossroad for some, it will be ge geographical. For some, it will be, you know, of the self. How you, what, who are you? What are you? For some, it will be matters of faith. But there is that question mark inside our heart. Was I right? Was I wrong? No, you weren't wrong. It was right for the time being. It was right for the state of affairs then. If things are different now, it's because they're different now and there's a new, uh, an emergent, uh, emerging, emerging, uh, ah, a new truth is emerging in you. This doesn't mean that your past truth that you're possibly letting go of is wasn't right. It doesn't mean that it was a lie. It means that life is complex and vast and elastic and things are not fixated to be one thing it was right for them now you've grown you're growing into a new self of sense of right and wrong it's okay it's beautiful pisces you have all of the truths in you you have all the scales and all the um placements on the scales in you and potentially which is why so many of you are so whack a lot of you guys have a lot of emotional and psychological challenges not all of you don't jump those of you that are on the um, um you know there's the evolved and the devolved for every human for every zodiac when you can't handle all this knowledge and all this energy that exists in you and your channels for so many things and and if you don't have balance and you, you don't have boundaries then you get whack you, you become bipolar you become uh, schizophrenic you become delusional you become many many things yeah you are you are all the range of the emotional realm the human condition it's like it's a lot to handle uh, Pisces Two first cards, Knight of Wands, and the Death card. And in, th in this deck, he's flying. He's not riding on a horse. He's flying on an eagle. Straight into change. You're like, Phew. 
there's this I feel like there's this um, intense passionate will for change for evolution for growth You're like I want to be the Phoenix I want to be the master of evolution I want to be the master of the shift I want to be I want to create a new realm. I want to fly into the death and I want to fly out of the death and I want to... Wait, Pisces. Let it sink. The next month or two are going to be a lot emotionally and you're going to discover things in yourself and outside of yourself and you need to first let it sink before you... before you rush into things rush into change rush into an end it will come in the right timing in the right way but i want you to be grounded and safe okay now it is inevitable and it will happen because it stirs in you and it's also a natural process it's it's, an, it's inner and outer so breathe through it pisces interesting Okay. The Fool, right after the Death card. Yes, that is... Wow. Some of you are really discovering a new sense of self. Some You used to be one thing and now you're like, Who am I? What am I? I what can I be? What do I want to be? It's like this clean slate in front of you. You can go anywhere. You can be anything. And you... you you phantom that in the next month you'll be phantom you'll be understanding that if you haven't already and you're like it can be overwhelming death card with the fool is a brand new start and when i have the knight of wands meaning some of you are moving fast into something completely different completely new and unfamiliar territory and you're very excited about this knight of wands and the fool they're you are very excited about this you're like yeah i got this I just, I don't want you to bump into a wall. Queen of Pentacles. When you come into this change, into this new world, whatever this is for you, instead of as a knight of wands, more of as the queen of pentacles. A more grounded, patient, mature approach. That's how you stay alive. That's how you stay safe and you don't lose it, okay? Because there are a lot of energies around you, I see some feeling, and you're, you're, you're learning everything about it and you're very excited and it's like, the world is your oyster and the energy energy realm is your oyster but when you handle so much energies when you learn when you open the door everything can come in okay and if your boundaries are not set properly defense mechanism all kinds of energetic leeches can also come in okay i don't want you to find if you're doing energy work i don't want you finding yourself um for years being possessed by an energetic leech it could come in the form of a human being of a person or it can literally be an energetic being around you that is allegedly advising you but it comes with a price it takes away your energy and you won't feel it at first at, for, at first you'll be in euphoria but little by little you'll start feeling potentially worst case scenario if you're not please take my advice potentially god forbid you can feel like little by little um feeling drained and not as powerful as you were, not as intuitive as you were, and not as clear as you were. And that's what happens when you storm into the realm of energies and spiritualities and, you know, outside of the matrix. It's beyond our comprehension. And it doesn't matter how smart and talented we are, how spiritual and intuitive we are, um, how powerful we are. We are still baby souls in this incubator of souls that is called planet Earth right and there's so much to learn and i'm so excited for you and yes go discover but please found your find your ground first find your place find find your um your, your home your habits your 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 work your your relationship ground that have a good earth element in you and then fly okay i want to know that you have the net 
if you're flying off the cliff into the abyss of the unknown and of the darkness, I want to know you have a net, something to fall on or to fall back on. You're really excited. You really want to just... But this doesn't have to be spiritual or energetic. This could be a new job, a new relationship, a new place you want to move into. Come powerful. Come knowledgeable. Come with something to hold that journey. Okay? If you want to travel to the unknown, make sure you have enough money. Or that you... Um, have a uh, health insurance right the traveler insurance right if you want to move into a co new continent make sure you know everything there is to know about it like a new country okay what are the rules there how, how do i get paperwork how, am I, how do i make sure i can work maybe finding an apartment first you know yeah you get the picture right someone new and exciting enters your life passionate potential partner make sure you know what there is to know about them and don't just believe into what they say right away you get the picture right okay that's a very important advice for you right now Pisces now let's keep going from Queen of Pentacles look a crazy risk will lead to crazy fulfillment if you do it right you will find your new home your new place your new environment your new self your new work it's not new. It's something that was always in you, but now you're discovering it, right? Um, easy. I feel like I'm riding like this crazy horse that just want to ride and it's like, whoosh, hey, hold on, easy. Pisces. Okay, let's keep going. Pisces, what comes next for Queen of Pentacles? Okay. Two of Pentacles, yes. Where to live? Where to go? Should I stay or should I go? Kind of thing. Now, with the death and the fool, it, it can be inner, like an urge. Like you really, really, really want to change. Like you really, really, really want to go. But you need to know what suits you. You need to make a plan. Okay? Make a plan, Pisces. Where, make a long-term plan. Where do you want to see yourself in a few years? What is it that you want to do? A few, a few years. Okay. And then what is the change? What is the next step that you can take that will get you there? That will support that? And that way you'll know where to go, which decision to make. And allow yourself to take a little bit of time. Allow yourself to take through October and November and, you know, have the uh, retro Venus retrograding kind of pass. Or, or maybe take a leap of faith in October. I don't know. But all I'm saying, make sure that you know where you're going. Just, yeah. Two of Cups. Great. From Two of Pentacles to Two of Cups. So we already have two cards for our extended. Because I do the numerological aspect. I take the repetitive uh, numbers and the repetitive elements. And that's the first part of the extended. I'll show you at the end. At the end, we also have messages from the Akashic Tarot the Akashic Records, which are gorgeous cards. Gorgeous. Gorgeous oracles. Okay, sorry. Two of Cups. Whatever this change is about, this movement, this, it will really help you find something that really resonates with you. This will of yours, this passion of yours, this urge of yours is very accurate. You're feeling the right things. I just want you to go about it the right way, right? Let, let the heart make the decision, but let the brain form the plan. That's all I'm saying. Um, and it will, it is going there to Two of Cups. I, I, there's either a new re connection, new relationship. Some of you are contemplating between being independent, being on your own, or being in a relationship. There is no right and wrong, Pisces. Do what feels right. Keep in mind, nothing is set in stone. If you are now single and you want to give a chance to a relationship, give it a chance. See how it feels. If it, if it feels good, stay. If it doesn't, leave. Okay? Uh, 
too many cards. But I, I, what I, what I took a glimpse at was uh, Ace of Swords and the Wheel of Fortune. Let's see if they come up again. Truth will set you free. Truth will set you free. This is just massive change, so I want you to not um, burn yourself out in it. But you are emerging from a complete unknown to a very safe ground. This is lovely. I love this energy of the Queen of Pentacles and the Two of Cups. Um, very serene, very harmonious, very loving. Um, some of you are in this situation, are in something stable and calm and serene. Maybe you're in a good connection, but you have this urge of something else, something new. Um, this might be Venus in retrograde. Let Allow yourself to feel it through the month of October. Then you really know. Then you really know. This is the month of delving into the heart and really feeling and really having a real knowing of what we want. So let this process be. Allow this, you know, allow yourself to go back and forth, to change your mind. One day feel this, one day feel that. And once you have like a linear state of knowing, consistent state of knowing for a good few days or a week, then feel free to take a leap of faith and take the chance and go after it, right? I'm so hungry. <laughs> Sorry, I just realized that this is the third video that I'm doing straight and I haven't eaten at all. I only drank mint tea. I love mint. Oh my God. Mm. This is where you feel the honey. I'm gonna so treat myself after this because I'm late in the videos. The energy was just not allowing. It was just not there. A lot of things were going on, but now it's accurate. Um, so I'm doing three waters today. If I'll have more energy, maybe I'll do more later, though I doubt it. And I'll see what I'll do tomorrow. But three general readings and three extended readings. That's six videos. I'm going to treat myself. A nice vegan meal. <laughs> okay. Let's see what else. What's going on? Also, I noticed something interesting. When I read tarot... I let them fall and then sometimes I plus I place them plus sometimes I place them from left to right. This time I placed the story, the narrative from right to left. I'm I read Hebrew and I was born and raised in Israel. So for some reason I'm tapping into the Hebrew element of me. Um the right to left. It's a it's the, it's a very ancient language, very ancient type of knowing. So maybe what this leads us to is something really ancient in you is emerging and is calling you there's a call and you're feeling called and you really have the urge to act upon it and you will but you're you're gonna do it right okay you're gonna do it smart you're gonna do it in a way that will allow this uh to have longevity to whatever change it is so it won't overwhelm you and you feel lost and be like oh i want to go back because this happened too fast and i don't know Let's keep going. What's next? Spirit cards for Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, all, uh, whatever you resonate with um, for the month of October. Okay. Queen of Wands. Now I'm going left to right. So I'm going like this, right to left and left to right. Ace of Pentacles, the Strength card, Scorpio also had this, and the Seven of Wands. Good. Okay. This is a great combination for um, being an entrepreneur, right? For figuring out something that is unique to you, that is from the gut, something that you're really passionate about, really enjoy doing. Um, that you're very artistic, something very artistic, very passionate, very unique, uh, very lively. And it's like you find a way to make money from it, to make a living. There's an opportunity to do something that is very you, which is why this is probably this calling of yours that I'm really encouraging. Um, it's really important to not get lost in all the, um, to be very focused on what's important, to not do, be all over the place, not do too many things, figure out what is the thing that is you, okay, what is it that you want to focus on and focus on that and not go lost in too many things. Let's see here, 
seven of wands. He's stepping on six wands and he's only holding ones. Like, I know I've got all this under my belt. I know I can do all that, but I'm focused. I want to get to the eight of wands. I want to have strong opportunities. I want to have strong, swift success. I want to also be happy doing that and not be overwhelmed with burdens. So he focuses on what matters one thing at a time. So focuses on, focus on what is you, okay? Find that thing. And if you can't pick between two things, then any, mini, miny, mo. Whatever, whatever will bring you more stability and financial success, okay? Be smart about this new evolution, new growth of yours. Um, take it one step at a time. Build it. Be loyal to your, yourself, to your passion. But don't go lost. Just because you can do many things doesn't mean you need to do many things, okay? Focus. Don't get lost. Harness that energy. Um, there is a lot of creative success. A lot of creative success. Really finding your long-term longevity, your longevity of a career of... Oh, okay, there it is. The tower, yes. Why? Seven of Wands. If you're not focused, if you're you know, focusing on nonsense, things that aren't relevant, if you're not harnessing the energy in, in a very specific way, if you, if you jump into things, if you just do whatever you feel like doing, whatever you feel like doing, if you're not focused, um, if you move too fast without building the foundations, then thing, the structure will collapse. You need to build this right. Pisces, whatever this is, you need to build it right. If it's a relationship, if it's a project, um, if it's a career, whatever. Sometimes less is more, you know, quality over quantity, all that jazz. Already I have two eights, two nines, two sevens. This is, um, we're really building our um, extended Follow the advice and you won't have a tower moment. Build the foundations right and then it won't tilt and the little blow of wind or lightning won't be able to have a collapse, right? You have some you have a very good potential, something very strong here. Um, don't let it collapse in the wind of instability. And it's a choice. You can just follow the guidance and build it right, or you cannot, and then don't be surprised, you know? Okay. Did I tell you that on October 10th I'm doing a live Q&A? On October 10th I'm doing a live Q&A. I don't know the time yet, but I'll pin it in the comments for all the videos. Uh, so stay tuned on the 8th or on the 9th, look at one of the videos in the comments, and. You'll see it there, or maybe I'll take, just post a new video just telling you which time it will be. But live QA, we'll talk about energies, spirituality, you'll ask me questions. It's gonna be fun, I'm excited. Um, yeah. Oh, Tarot Masterclass. Links below to extend it. I'll show you your extended soon. Links below to your extended to your Tarot Masterclass. And also, in honors of this uh, very special month, uh, all the 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, I am doing a special um, uh, for my. Uh, personal private readings so the information is below what you can have what kind of services i can give you special for october so yay uh just press more info in the information box tarot master class is there to learn tarot um in information for um um general reading for private readings is there and the extended of course is also there okay let's keep going let's let's conclude thank you for November readings, by the way, I think I'm going to dress up because it's going to be Halloween. So we'll see. We'll see if I'm in the mood. I, I, I tend to be moody when it comes to Halloween. Sometimes I don't do anything. Sometimes I go all crazy. Um, no promises, but there's a good chance. Okay. Let's look at it all at once. Okay, another seven. A third seven. Scorpio also had it. Seven of Pentacles. Six of Cups. Queen of Cups. And the Magician. I'm going to let you look at it. Okay. I'm going to just say it plain, simple. 
October is going back to your foundations and rebuilding whatever it is that you're working on and being accurate and planning for the future. You know, investing, quality over quantity, accuracy, focus. You're going back. And I feel like in November, your true power and focus will emerge. Like that's when you'll really blow up. Now, this could be in a relationship, right? Maybe you're in a relationship that has a really good, strong potential and that is very uh, passionate and very spiritual and very powerful, but you guys are all over the place and you're not focusing on each other and you're a little bit messy, but now you're going back to fix it and rework on your relationship and regain your passion. And in November, boom, you're like really manifesting this romance, this wonderful, passionate um, love connection right and if this is a work project then same great potential great success but if you tend to be a little bit unfocused or like a little bit all over the place then this is when now this month you're going back to figure out what it is about exactly what you want it to be about how you do it slow patiently diligently and the Queen of Cups is very Scorpio, so towards end of October, November, that's when you'll emerge like with your newfound power. Like, okay, this is my focus. This is who I am. This is how I'm doing this. This is the white magic and the black magic, okay? Those don't come from being all over the place. Those come from extreme focus, guys. It's not about doing a lot. Don't give the universe a headache. Some of you are having a relationship from the past, okay, that you put a lot of effort in, kind of returning. Of course, Venus retrogrades in Scorpio, and I have your Scorpio. So, of course, the past relationship will come. And it's going to feel very powerful and very energetic and possibly it's going to feel like divine timing, but I'm not sure about the longevity of it. I can't say right now. But it's something you need to be in because there's something there that needs to either be cleared out or to be felt. This is not to say that it's not going to work out, but this is not to say that it will work out. This is what is for October. October sliding into November. Scorpio is very strong in this reading. So maybe you should watch Scorpio and maybe we'll speak to you. Um... Yep. Okay. Let's see your extended. So I have two queens here, obviously. This could be a cooperation between these two masters, mistress, whatever. I don't see here. Oh, oh my God. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Three queens. Wow. The... <laughs> The, the magic the magic magical trinity the holy trinity of witches i love this if you're into the energy world sorcery magic all that jazz you might have two women that you want to cooperate with or you want to form a group you're doing energy work that's great because each of these women brings something very special to the table Right? A lot of magic here. Maybe you're working with women. Either way, you're working hard, Pisces, on something. You're really, really putting an effort. You're really investing in something. I really want you to be focused so you'll get this and not this. Okay? Let's see your extended. Ooh, it's going to be fun. Okay. Let's start. We're doing chronologically, chrono, chronological order. Um, because I go to the neurological aspect of the reading in the extended. No, this word different reading here. Okay, like that. Um, two twos. Two sevens. Okay. Two twos, two sevens, three queens, actually three sevens, three sevens, I'm sorry. 
the tower is 16, which is 10. Okay. This is your extended. Stay tuned. I'm going to give you messages from the um, Akashic Tarot. Okay, but before that, this is the first part of your extended. And then I'm going to clear the table and do a complete new shuffle and we'll have a Celtic cross reading. Very ancient gypsy reading um, of 10 cards on the table that will give completely different narrative potentially and a different point of view. This will also, I will have a new narrative emerge from it. I will give different points of view to this new structure of the cards on the table, right? Um, and then after the Celtic cross, after this, and then the Celtic cross, we will finish up with a message from Arun. We'll pick Arun and I'll tell you about it and how, it how it's relevant to you. Um, that's the extended. Um, I already spoke to you about Tarot Masterclass and about the live Q&A and about the private readings. Um, yeah, guys, thank you for supporting your subscriptions. If you haven't subscribed, this is a great opportunity. You can press the subscribe button um, and join the existential shift and join my journey that is outstanding and inspiring. And I'm really, really happy to, that it just came to my life like that. Um, I will see you guys in November. I will see you in a second in your extended. And oh, I really recommend to watch your other placements um, for a broader picture, but also going back to September readings because that's how we connect the energies of what the advice was, what we went through, what we did right, what we could have done differently. And that's how we grow. Okay, so I recommend that. Okay, guys, love you much. See you around. All this talk about the Akashic Tarot, and I didn't give you a message from it. I'm sorry, but I'm editing it now. Message for Pisces for the month of October. This is the third video I'm doing today. Please forgive me. For, <laughs> for October. Message for Pisces for October. My beautiful Pisces seeker. Message for the collective that is watching me for the month of October. Okay. Ooh. Up in the air. Number 18. I don't know if it says something to you. Story time. My favorite time. All right. Mm. Okay. A man and woman gaze with anticipation at a heart at a hot air balloon in a bright blue sky. The balloon uh, flies high above the hills, and the contents of the balloon's basket are hidden from view. During this time of your life, there are aspects of an important situation that seem hidden to you. You may feel a strong, almost urgent desire to know it's going to turn out to know how it's going to turn out. You can connect with your spirit guides and the Akashic records and ask for a little insight, but there are elements that are not that are unknown and at this time unknowable. There is too much about the situation that is still up in the air. This could be due to the influence of others um, who are undecided, or some events may not have yet come to pass or unexpected discoveries are yet to be made. Trust Trust is the only way for you now. If you push too hard to know or to influence the outcome, you might push the outcome away. Let go of all urgency and give the situation to your higher infinite self who will take care of it all. Time is required to know more about this matter and time doesn't matter to your, to your eternal self whose power and love are always with you. For now and indeed, for, and indeed forever, what else do you need? Nothing but trust, the deepest knowing that all you seek will be revealed to you in the right time. Okay, so good thing I came back to, um, to do it for you guys because this seems like an important message. Um, the unknown scares us all. And we really want to know. Because we really want to be in control. But guess what? It doesn't work. The more you'll try to control a situation that is not controllable, the more you'll try to hold the bird, the more it will peck through your hand and set itself free. 
or die, and then what did you do? What's the point of having a bird, a bird that is dead? Okay, so that was important. Okay, guys, now truly goodbye. Still, I love you. Ciao.